Hey Mike, here's your uh, package. Did you uh, did you drive over it on your way in? I think somebody might have. Yeah, so, I mean, it looks like roadkill. So, <laughs> uh, look at this. So this is this morning. He, uh, he comes to the gate. <laughs> All right, solid shot. Takes a picture under the gate. <laughs> it made it and walks off. So there's your package. I hope that uh, it's not important or fragile. Well, I remember one of the things I ordered is slightly fragile. Uh, they're they're okay. Rubber, yeah, so far so good. The rubber mounts look okay. Okay. Some hardware that should be all right. Smashed bolts. I don't think that's gonna affect it. But the these springs, are the springs. Ones. <laughs> Everything's okay. All right, we're good. <laughs> Dude, that's... I was worried there. That's crazy. That's perfect, because I'm pretty sure I'm the, I'm the one that ran it over. <laughs> Tim. Tim's the call. Right? Tim? Good morning. How are we doing, bro? Oh, you know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, Sparky. Little flint and steel. Mm-hmm. I'm about to open the ender portal right now. <laughs> the what? It's the ender portal. What you know about that, Sean? Sean don't know nothing, Sean don't know about, nothing about that. He's too old. He's basically Ooh. in retirement right now. Well, you know. If this is his retirement gig. <laughs> Yo, that's the, that's the one right there. The Christmas tree. <laughs> that's the ornament? What are you trying to drill out, Mike? Damn. All right, fellas. It is. Uh, it's lunchtime. It is lunchtime. Where are you trying to go, Sean? Where are you trying to go? Oh, damn. This is a crazy caliper. That's pretty cool. This is like Sheep analog. Age. This is from like the caveman time. What was it like when this first came out, Sean? <laughs> <laughs> That's wild. What was it like when they came up with measurement? <laughs> you know, let me tell you about a story. <laughs> Back in my day, I got nothing. Sean, does this excite you? Wow. Fire! 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 <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tim, where are you trying to go to eat? Um, you know, food is good. I like food. What food do you like today? You know, savory food. Savory <laughs> foods. All right, dude. Let's see what, let's see what Mike's talking it's about. Streets. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike. Hey, Mike, are you there? Mike. Hey, Mike. Mike. Hello? Hey, Mike, what do you want to get for lunch? Uh, food. Yeah, yeah what are you thinking, Mike? the wall right now. What's up? Why are you inside the wall? Why, why are you inside the wall? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are you thinking? Um, right now I'm looking at gear well, but I'm hungry. Mm. Gear well does not sound like a tasty lunch. <laughs> um, so let's get some good. What do you All want? Right. Tim's saying tacos. Sean's saying El Pollo Loco. I'm saying Jersey Mike's. It's a lot of uh, a lot of different options there. <laughs> Hmm. Steve, what are you thinking? Tacos. Tacos? That's two votes for tacos Close so far. Tacos. All right, so Mike, you, you, you got to break, break the, it, you gotta break the vote. Well, or is well, or it tie it up. Tie it up. Yeah. Yeah. And then, so well, let's just do tacos because it's... All right. Or you easy. tie it up. Let's make things complicated. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we like complication. We are going to get food. And uh, that's what you think. Wait, what? <laughs> Joke's on <laughs> you. I got him. Where are we going? Don't worry about his sweet heart and this direction. You got your seatbelt on? Yeah, my seatbelt's on. Alright, let's go. Hey, Tim, how's the tacos? Good. How about yours? I'll let you know. I got these uh, tacos, this burrito here. Mike, what type of tacos should you get? I got a couple pork ones and a couple steak ones. Nice. How you doing there, Sean? You got the chicken burrito? Nice. As per usual. There you go. <laughs> Alright, we are back to the shop. We brought Steven some tacos. Just coming up. Okay. Let's see where he is. Dang, I didn't realize the windshield is this dirty. Right here. Sir. Taco delivery. Oh. Your, your tacos. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. You are. Alright, have a good no tip. Have a good day. No tip. <laughs>
All right, so we gotta move the, uh, the Senna outside. We're gonna take some photos of it for some future merch that we're gonna make. And uh, right now it's inside with all the cars around it and it's gotta go outside. So Mike's gonna move it on out. I will, I will move this extremely, extremely expensive vehicle. Oh, you scratched it. This uh, really strong piece. It's super heavy. Dude, the first time I opened that thing, I was like, Man, because yeah, you got to push weird. on it, but it's all flexy. Yeah, and I was you like, find the right spot. Yeah, you got to find the right spot, and then you hear like the little motor yeah. go up. Mike can't find the spot. It's big and flat. I'm not used to that. It's usually it's a different shape, you know, when you're trying to open it. Look at that. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> now it's all fingerprints. <laughs> yep. <laughs> It's like the touchscreen in cars, these massive yeah. touchscreens, and like after a day, it's just fingerprints yeah. everywhere. I hate touchscreens in cars. Why Mike's, just a, like, Mike's a big analog guy. Well, like when you're driving, you have to like look down and really focus on it and like scroll through mm -hmm. menus. <laughs> like, dude, that's what you do at home with your iPad. Like, why do they put that in a car? Just put exactly. a button like, I want my AC on. I want the fan up or down. Like. The Dodge, dude. The Dodge has all of oh, those, is, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so, way too much. Or, like, so the new annoying. M3s, where it's the whole That's front the, dash. All those new cars. Yeah. I don't, I don't get it. Let's take a look, look at that key. I thought that this was interesting on the bottom. It's got the, like, lights that they all turn on. I don't know if it unlocks the car, actually, but... It uh, turns the lights on. Oh, yeah. That's, that's neat. <laughs> That's cool. That's a yeah. cool feature. So the next thing is, let's see if it'll start. Oh yeah, it is a McLaren. It's a McLaren, so. see one before at PFS and uh, just it looks so different out here especially next to the Senate yeah, so in PFS you know inside of a building like in the corner but dude, now you can like really step back and take a look it's at it it's huge it's massive <laughs> and then just the the lines on it like every single line yeah. is incredibly sharp except for like just the curve of the front yeah there's a little bit around a little bit around there but everything else is like, like a slab hard edge yeah and it's crazy because this is just a piece of sheet metal yeah there it's not rounded and rolled edges or anything it's just a <laughs> flat piece like stuck on the yeah, side like everything yeah it, like dude look at this oh feel that's sharper than it is it's like, <laughs> it's like actually pretty sharp yeah that's crazy Dude, so like if you wreck your car and it's just a panel, <laughs> like you could make this probably for yeah. less than what they would sell it to you for. This is just a piece of stainless. Yeah. Like, and I did hear like some people were complaining about rusting in the rain. Yep. So I don't know if they're using a really good, like high grade of stainless. It doesn't sound like they are if it's rusting. <laughs> yeah, if it's, yeah. Yeah. Here you can see it. It's just, it's just a sheet. And apparently it's got like a, a sensor for load but people were taking carrots, right, and closing it, and it was yeah. chopping the carrots off. Ugh. So if you put your finger in there and it closes, on a regular car, you smash your finger, it hurts. Yeah. This car might cut your finger off. It'll definitely slice it. Very, uh, very interesting. The trunk's a trip, or I guess the truck bed. Yeah, and it's funny, they made the rear and front bumper, like, it looks like an off-road style, like, fabricated sheet yeah. metal, but it's plastic. Oh, really? Yeah. But they made it look. You think you'd like, want that to be metal? <laughs> yeah. Plastic's cheap. It's true. Yeah. I don't know. That's crazy. Let's uh, look at the interior. Yeah. It's an interesting vehicle. 
custom good years, I'm guessing, just for this. Oh, yeah. Because it probably weighs eight ton. Um, Alright, let's see. Can you do this? Oh, whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, look at that. Crazy. All just exposed stainless everywhere. That's wild. Some, some white leather. I don't want to touch that. I'm going to yeah. get dirty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's pretty basic on the inside. You, you think that it would have a little bit more. It's very, very simplistic. Same. It's got the iPad screen in there. Yeah. Yep. Your favorite. You yeah, were just saying it. how much you love the iPad screen. Not, not for me. <laughs> Man, so weird too. Like that little steering wheel yeah. inside of a truck. I the don't. Logo on the steering wheel is cool. Yeah, I don't understand why they do the flat spots on it yeah. like it's a race car. If I had to guess, it's because most people that are driving these are just putting in an auto drive. Maybe. And they're just kind of like, I just need to hang my hand off of here and just cruise. Uh, yeah, just cruise. Even though it's a tank. Yeah, I don't know, just for making U-turns and stuff, having those flat spots are not ideal. And it's obviously got enough, like, leg room. There's, like, a ton of space <laughs> yeah. between here, so it's not yeah. like having the rounded wheel would, would affect it, but style, I guess. It's got a camera on the side here. You're being washed right now. Yeah, I know, right? Soft clothes. Soft, soft dish. <laughs> soft dish clothes. <laughs> yeah, it's got this like huge wiper on there. Dude, dude. dude. Windshield how much is, is windshield Oh costs? man, that's gotta be some I, I serious bet it's more dollars. Than the center. Dude, and that windshield wiper blade, I feel like it's off of a semi truck or something. Yeah, look how big this so is. Big. Crazy. Yeah, there's probably all kinds of sensors in there too. So it looks like it's all aluminum chassis. Yeah, it's a like cast aluminum. Very interesting. Well, I'm not buying one. <laughs> Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. You can haul stuff with it. Yeah, but I can haul stuff with my truck, too. But not in style. I don't know. I feel like, uh, I feel like the style of my 2013 Dodge truck is more fitting of what I think style is than this. <laughs> Weird. I wasn't trying to break it. <laughs> Dude, it's so crazy. Like, it's so thin. So flimsy. All right. Back on the tender. Are Mike, you buying yourself a cyber truck or what? I am not. <laughs> you don't think that'd be a good track car? I don't really know what it's good for. The cyber trucks? Stunting on people or something? Oh. I guess. I don't know. Like to some people, it's just big. It's a big truck. That's not really a truck. Nope. Like you could put some stuff in the back, but not a whole lot. Like I don't. I don't get it. I don't know. A lot of people like them though. It's the new. Do they? I don't. I, a lot of people bought them. I see them driving around now. I think because it just looks so dumb and like crazy. Yeah. There's some sort of appeal there. Yeah. I don't know. Too. Yeah, I think you gotta buy it, drive it around for a week, and then flip it because that car is gonna only go down in value. Like, yeah. Fast. Yeah. Like fast. Well, if they're starting to rust, and you know, as the batteries get older in the car, it's just gonna age like any other car. The hype's gonna die down. More people are gonna have them available. Yeah. Like this is your time. Have it. Flex it. Sell it. Or just like, don't have it. Just don't. Don't have it. No headaches. <laughs> yeah. 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 I don't know. I like cars with engines. Um, yeah. yeah, fair enough. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna say there's like no purpose for an electric car. Obviously, if you well, you live, you drive that. 20 miles a day or 50 miles a day or whatever, you drive there, you drive back, you plug it in, 
fine. Dude, but I'm if you want to go on yeah, a trip, when I was working at Gritty, like pretty much like 100 miles a day round trip. Yeah. Like, that shit made sense. Yeah. The amount of, I was paying like a thousand dollars a month in gas. Yeah. So like, I did the numbers. Like, the savings in gas would have paid for the paid the for car payment and the money. insurance. Yeah. What you car were you gonna get? Yeah. It's like the cheap Model Three. Oh yeah. 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 I'm looking at an electric car right now. Really yeah. cheap. If you commute, it makes sense. Yeah. But yeah, for one to, purpose. To buy, buy one it's, just to buy it's one. It's to get from point A to point B. Yeah. The excitement, like everyone's like, oh man, my electric car's so fast. I don't care. Nah. You can tell me it's fast. Yeah, you push on the gas, like the, not the gas. You push on the throttle pedal yeah. and the it's button. quick. It yeah. accelerates quick, just like an electric RC car. But it also which is great. kills the battery it quick too. The battery. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know, like, not fun yo like it's quick but it's not i will tell you have you ever rode in one of the the plaids um yes it was a while ago dude it's, it's bizarre it's the craziest shit i've ever felt in a car bro. like i i've rode in like rode and driven like yeah fast fucking cars but that thing is wild like yeah, maybe well, not like it doesn't it, need it in your face yeah it doesn't need the standard traction control right where yeah where it sees wheels slipping yeah. and then it pulls power back which is always less power than what you could actually be putting down but an electric car doesn't need that right so it's just putting the exact amount of torque to the wheels that it can use and that's quick it's quick as hell dude they're fast like that's the first time i ever like felt it in my like acceleration yeah. in my face in a car pause yeah. Yeah. but <laughs> 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 but still like i don't it, it's just going fast in a straight line is not for me it's i'm all about going around corners yeah and driving the car yeah. downshifting right like i don't know it's just the, the rhythm when you're driving a car yeah that's the excitement that's that's the fun just going fast in a straight line yeah it's fun like to do it a couple times but after that it's like it's a novelty just getting yourself in like, yeah <laughs> Dip it through the desert, I'm not gonna lie. Like Vegas runs, like in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. like just trying to beat your your time or whatever, like that's fun. In but, the Tesla, and if you don't get it, you get stranded. <laughs> you're worried about the battery draining. <laughs> it's like, Empty. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. You ever yeah. almost gotten stranded in an electric car? No, because I never drive an electric car. So oh, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, it's, it's, it gives you anxiety, man. You're yeah. just like watching it. Like you got to like, turn off the radio, turn off the, like, the heater or whatever. Yeah. Dude, it gets, yeah. It's like the most anxiety I've ever had <laughs> driving. Well, Mike, if we get, if you end up getting a, uh, a Tesla, we'll get you one of those little cup holder shippers. I'm not getting, I'm not getting I'm We'll get a, a yeah, you can. He's a BMW guy. He's about to get a well, fake clutch. I3. Get an I3. I3, yeah. Yeah, oh, mini like, cooper looking thing they're they're cheap what do they go for um 10 to 12 grand okay yeah for like a fifty thousand mile one that's like a 2017 yeah, yeah. does it have self-driving can you sit in the back seat and take a nap on your way to work i don't think so but i'm not that person anyway <laughs> like yeah. whenever anybody drives anywhere and i'm with them i'm almost always driving because i just you don't I feel to, more comfortable you don't in the driver's seat. Candy Crush on your way to work? Nah, I don't, <laughs> candy I don't, crush. I don't even have any games on my phone. <laughs> and it begins. Race prep. Brian? Five months since I drove that car. Really? Yeah, dude. Forever. So, yeah, I'm pumped. It's going to be good. Evo 2 time. It's a bummer you're going home. It'd be cool if you came to the track and experienced this. I know. Take you for a ride along in the race car. Dave could take you for a ride along. It's his first I, time. I'd rather go. First time. Why? Wow. First. <laughs> I don't blame you. I'm on the first sim. First time Look driving me. the 570 GT4, bro, on a track. Maybe I should. Keep him here. Get him to come. Put it's him in his truck. choice. He can do what he wants. Yeah, I keep asking him. He doesn't know. He can't make If he says yes, line. I call Air Canada and change his flight. Charge him for it. Dude, him trying to. Pick whether he's coming or going. He's okay, more then indecisive I'll, then than I'll you come. with women. What? Then I'll come. Well, I got room for you though. Hang <laughs> on, oh, let me. Uh, I don't. Throw the brake? Yeah, because I don't think it stays. No, no, it just says it goes in neutral. Yeah, exactly. You see, Ryan, this is a race car. Race cars are different than regular cars because they're made for racing. How are you going to fit through there? Uh, I'm fine. <laughs> Right now I have my foot on the brake so that my Gassa, FD Champion, can secure the vehicle. 
So this track compares like a button wheel though. So a little bit of technical tight corners and then slow corners or is it fast? There's some there's some fairly slow corners on the track also. Um, I, I honestly think it's like on par with Laguna Seca. Really? Without as much elevation change. But like the technicality and the flow of the course, mm. like it has a really good rhythm to it. Yeah, that's it's cool. a lot of fun to drive. But the scenery is not great. It's in the middle of the desert, so Laguna blows it out of the water so in that sense. Can you rent this track privately if you want to rent it one day? Um, I I think there's possibly a way. It's it's like a membership kind of a track. Oh. Um, but yeah, there's probably yeah you could probably rent it. Is there anything out there like restaurants or anything? No. You're on your own. Literally the closest like hotel is an hour away. So we're staying. That's where we're staying. <laughs> yeah, it's really in the middle of nowhere. But that's how you do this without having issues with neighbors. Like Laguna's been. What year was Laguna open? Like the fifties. Fifties, yeah. And these assholes buy houses next door because they about the noise. Like, hey, bro. Yeah. Hey, what's next door? Racetrack. Oh, okay, I'll take it. Yeah. Oh, this racetrack's been here for seventy years. Yeah, but I have an issue with it now. <laughs> I don't like. They buy a house next to an airport. The airplanes are really loud. <laughs> All right, you're good. It'd be easier if I had no arms. Only for this, though. Other stuff would be more annoying, like put on a sweater. Other times, arms are good. <laughs> Most of the time, arms are pretty fucking badass. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you, arms are pretty cool, man. Like, look at me right now. <laughs> So Ryan, if you want to come, I'll get, we'll get a room. That's one way of doing that. All right. That's a real race car shit right there. Right. You can hear the air suspension purging in the back. My family does the same thing. Ironically, this battery was dead today. Yeah, something in the trailer is draining it. So uh, when that plug is in there. Carlos, for sure. Carlos. Yeah. yeah. Janky ass shit. Yep. Yeah. We're going to drive Senna, Squadra, Huracan. Wow. It's a good combo. We're gonna fast and furious. Let's go. Then we're all gonna get tattoos after. Let's go. All right. Part of a good track day is a good way to capture the experience. In this yeah, case, Marcus Luttrell is bringing batteries, cameras, a drone. Probably I, I can't don't know fly. If we can fly I probably not. can't fly. We can, but we can do something. We can do it one time and apologize after. Yeah, exactly. Right. And then we decided that the intern is gonna join us. Nice. I'm so, coming. That's gonna be a good time, bro. Should be fun. I ain't fucking leave. I ain't fucking leave. Um. So, uh, <laughs> track days are really hard to capture because you need so many angles. Because watching a car from a fixed location is boring. So you're gonna have multiple GoPros, and Jamie will probably shoot us. Yeah, you know, Jamie, uh, he's gonna love us because we're gonna use all of these GoPros here: mm. the drone, mm -hmm. three main cameras, mm. audio recording, mm -hmm. all at the same time. It's easy. Just, just, but just put the video together. When we get it right, it's a really good video. It doesn't get crazy views, unfortunately. If you guys are like, why don't you ever do blah, 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 blah. Like, this whole thing operates off views. And if it got crazy views, you know, it would be happening more often. So yeah. if you like these videos, watch it four times. And then get your friends to watch it four Share times. Share with your friends. Share with your friends. Share with your enemies. Find someone you absolutely Ooh. hate and make them watch the video yeah. as an apology. Maybe you guys won't be that treated you in high school yeah. when you're insecure with a big nose and a YouTube hat. I don't know who you are. Okay. Let's go. I need to find my Hans device to screw things. Do you have it in here? Hey, do you have the box from your Hans device? No, what? There's two um, threaded capsules that needed for my helmet to attach what? the Hans. There's like two little capsules, little like uh, fittings. The well, they're probably under your helmet right anchors? now. Anchors? Yeah, anchors. <laughs> These things right here. Right there. <clears throat> That's what we need. They're in the bag. Perfect. Ryan, what are you doing right now?
rid of that speed bump. I can't even fit my finger in between here and the... My man, Damon Hans. There you go. Tuck him in the back of the truck and we'll, uh... <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I'll bring him over. You need a glove? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for Carlos, next time I see him. <laughs> Dude, this one's tight. It's way wider than the 570. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, two, three inches on each side? Yeah. This thing is... These are reliable race cars, aren't they? They are. It's pretty, I mean, it's pretty impressive. Honestly, factory built race car, it's pretty dumb. Yeah. yeah. And they're not, I mean, they're not cheap. That's a stupid word to say, but like, they're not crazy money compared to like. Honestly, for what you're getting. That's wild. You could wild. never build anything for that price that would compete with this. Like, the downforce, the brakes. The this, thing, this thing's literally less than half the price of this car. Yeah. This is 120. Well, now, now that it's all opened up, it, it might be like on par with this car down straightaways, but yeah. then the aero and the brakes right, and the massive right. like wheels and tires on this right, thing. Right. Yeah, cornering speed's definitely gonna be higher on this thing. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so I have an idea. We're gonna take some cars tonight because it's not that long of a drive. So we're gonna take a couple cars. You're gonna take the Senna? I'm gonna take, I, mean, I should take our best track car, other than my race car. The Mercy Logan. The Mercy Logan. Oh God. So four wheel drive, brother, what do you want? Actually, should I just take the Mercy instead of the Senna? A couple of Lambos is pretty cool. Yeah, pretty Save some mileage in the Senna. Hey, shoot some flames for the boys. And then you're gonna take your Lamborghini and then tomorrow you're gonna track your car? I, I think so. Because Mike can give you some coaching yeah. through a microphone and a headset. He's probably gonna charge me. No, wait, Mike's, our, Mike's our boy. He'll do whatever we ask him to do nicely if I'm lunch after. Yeah. But you can't tattoo his face. He's against that. Okay. No. We're making sure that we're having uh, warm clothing. I was gonna bring the varsity jacket because it's it's really warm Especially that's the, the prototype one actually you guys have been wondering the, the first one gray went with black my black one's at my house and then i'm gonna bring my lamborghini bag there you go has a charger a clean pair of socks a clean t-shirt and a toothbrush and an overnight bag ready to go that's all you need i need all of that <laughs> This is a gray cat. It is in fact real, you guys, in case you're wondering. <laughs> That's what you do to a dog, Tony. Come here. Come here. Yo, I want to chat with you. You're one cool cat. Gas station takeover with five supercars. You only can see three of them. That's right. <laughs> I like that. We actually had this entire section just for us. Mike, what do you want to eat? Mike's hungry. What are you feeling like? Steak, lobster, yeah. chips? Chips, a little snack. Yeah, Gunshot wound. Oh, McDonald's. Yeah, yeah. McDonald's right across the street. Are you guys going to eat? You guys, are, you guys are good. I mean, I mean, I mean, if we're here, if we're here. When I in mean, Rome. Well. Never have a lot of those like that in Canada. No. But, but down here, there's tax. But there's yeah. Oh, but yeah. You get if you if you get half of that versus getting no tax on a hundred million, mm. I prefer no tax. I would take a hundred million. I would take a hundred million too. You no, know, could you million? imagine having six hundred twenty-five million dollars? Like yeah. Like, I think or sorry, six hundred fifty million, and then you'll get thirty. You lose half or whatever. Three hundred twenty-five. I think if you lose, you lose like about half on taxes. So three hundred twenty-five. And then you either take your one lump sum or you get the payments for 20 years. When you take your one lump sum, then it gets cut like in another yeah, half. Yeah, it does. So it's, a, it's about 150 ish that you'd get. Which is and then you want to hire a lawyer. Yeah, screw oh, that. I, I would want take it. my lump sum. Ryan, what's double, going on? You, you low on oil, bro? No, no Ryan. Oh, How's that possible? Your car's brand new. Look, look at my janky tool. Hey, what are you doing? Not using the right, because I got to get into here to get this. Want to help me? I'm already low. Your uh, your cover's pretty cute. 
Mine's much larger in carbon fiber. Hey, my light came on. Oil? Should I just put this much? What are you doing? My little oil light already came on. Bro, so put a half in. Yeah. Put a half port. I always keep extra. That's why. That's, that's smart. smart. That's smart. Yeah. So, because like gas stations don't sell oil. Probably get more than that. You are low. What? No, I'm just gonna. I just does it sometimes. I just put a little the bit and it's happy. Checking the dipstick. I don't know how to do this correctly, honestly. So I'm just gonna. You know, my dad. <laughs> fun story. This is true. When I was growing up, an insult my dad good. would call me is he'd call me dipstick. How's it make you feel? As a kid. When you hear it now, does it sugar anything? No. Let me try it. Hey, I'm dipstick. Well, you know, it was a nice way to say shit. Right. It's a nice way to say I don't love you. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Thank you. What goes through Ryan's head, do you think? I'm gonna dye my hair blonde. <laughs> Look at that sign in front of you. We appreciate your business. <laughs> Dumb and dumber, got it done. My tanky tool. You know, if I don't do this, it rattles and it annoys me. You know what? Hopefully, you'll make it. Hey. Oh. Well, we burnt calories now we eating McDonald's. We're good. That's probably a 2,000 deficit right now. Why are you depressed? Ryan, you actually got, you filled out over the years. You're pretty thick, aren't you? This is crazy. This is designed as a homage to the old McDonald's. Because the old McDonald's arches actually went from the ground over like this. Like, have you ever seen a McDonald's with the character up there? No. I love it. I'm loving it. <laughs> How's McFlurry? Not so good. Note to self. Hey, Mike. The next time we do this, I'm booking the fucking place. Sure. Today. They're all sold out, so good luck with that. Oh, I would have found a place. Oh, who's in the pool? Which one? We could have just stayed in Palm Springs. Mike told me to book in this city. Yeah, well, they're all sold out, so. No, this next wasn't time sold out. This is fine. This is the I Love Lucy Hall. Oh, this is wait, is this us? We're two two three. Yeah. Hell yeah. Can I tell this? Dude. All right. Let's get right by the hallway. <laughs> Call it. Oh God. We want to know how old the people that stay here are. Just look at the photo. <laughs> Where did those guys go? Every ghost on the team. Where did those guys go? The room is back there? Yeah. This, no, this like, hallway with these old people is weird. <laughs> Let me know if you guys find anything interesting. Let's see the room. You want to check it out? Welcome. You got a sweet, bro. I love you guys. It's pretty, it is pretty sweet. It smells but nice. the lights don't work. Nice yeah. here. It's broken. The lights don't work. There oh, there you, there you go. There you go. Alrighty. It's fine. Calm down. <laughs> Life on the road, man. Where's so the this, is, this is where the crime's gonna happen. <laughs> wow. Can we put the beds together? Can we just do bunk beds right Sleep now? Over. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I need water or something. These, it's not even bad. You guys are being fucking babies right now. We're sitting way the, worse. Look at the tub. Yeah, bro. We can have bath together. I grew up in Fairmont, so... I'm okay, <laughs> calm down, Ryan. <laughs> also, you're, you're down one water. This isn't our room. Huh? That's oh, yeah, water. Let's go to our room. All right, good night, guys. What time should we meet tomorrow? Uh, We're an hour uh, drive. Yeah. An hour? Well, I don't know. Where do you want to meet at? 6.30? 6 p.m.? Yes. A.m. or p.m.? <laughs> do you want to drive straight home? Or do you want to go? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what sure. time does it start? I don't know. But if we, get up, if we leave at 6.30, get some food, some waters, some stuff, go to the track, we'll probably be there on time for something. <laughs> oh, see you in the morning. Good night, Ryan. Good morning, Remember, Ryan, he's hey, the champion. You're not. Do the thing. Do the thing we paid you to do tonight. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the finger and all that. Golden handcuffs. You want to keep my guess up for as long as possible, so do the thing.